What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we've got another live fantasy football mock draft for you. Back on Fantasy Pros with a 12-team full PPR mock where we will be drafting ninth overall. Should be pretty interesting. Our roster, one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, a flex, and then five bench spots. But that's pretty much it. So let's kick this thing off. And while we wait, a quick reminder, if you guys enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin to continue interacting with us there. Let us hear in the comment section your thoughts along with any other questions you guys might have. We will do our best to answer them all. But with that being said, let's get into it. Let's quickly take a look at the draft board. What's taking place so far? Justin Jefferson at the 101, followed by Chris McCaffrey, Jamar Chase, Austin Eckler. You guys know how I feel about the running backs, the top elite running backs, um, you know, potentially dropping in uh, mock drafts and, and drafts in general. Scoop up that value and then thank us later. Cooper Cup goes at the 105. Uh, I think Cooper Cup should be a lot closer to Justin Jefferson. Saquon Barkley, then Bijan Robinson, then Tyreek Hill. So now it's our turn to make a selection. And here, I think the typical choice would probably be like a Jonathan Taylor or something like that. But let's switch it up a little bit. Let's let's go with the Travis Kelsey approach here. Uh, we've done, you know, an elite tight end uh, in the first round, which is basically Travis Kelsey, uh, one or two times before in previous mocks. Uh, but it's been a while, so let's kind of play this thing out and see what happens, see what we can build in a larger uh, sized league, you know, this being a 12-team league, uh, with going Kelsey first uh, in terms of how that's going to set us up afterwards. So right now, we actually have some pretty good choices, if you ask me, in this second round. Uh, Devontae Adams, not a bad choice. Tony Pollard, Nick Chubb. Uh, it's between Devontae Adams, Nick Chubb, and Tony Pollard for me. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with the running back here. I'm going to go probably with Nick Chubb. Uh, the reason being, you know, I, I think he's one of these guys that is a pretty safe bet as far as given production this year. And who knows, maybe the Dallas Cowboys will bring in a veteran running back to spell Tony Pollard. Uh, that's still TBD. But either way, you know, uh, I like the start of this thing for us so far. The question is, are we going to be able to overcome taking a tight end with our first pick, you know, having a drop off in the other positions like uh, wide receiver, for example. And speaking for uh, about wide receiver, you know, these are the top choices. I I'd probably have Amari Cooper ranked the highest uh, running backs. I'm not the biggest Aaron Jones fan. Um so here, I'd probably be hoping for like Amari Cooper followed by Calvin Ridley to fall to us. So let's go that route. I'm not even contemplating a quarterback right now. I think, you know, taking a tight end early on uh, followed by an early quarterback already kind of puts you way, way behind it unless you're a very, very savvy drafter. Um, it, it could be a situation that's tough to overcome in terms of you know, uh, building up the rest of the roster and not having big drop offs in terms of production. So right now, I still like some of these running backs, Kenneth Walker, Miles Sanders. I'm a big fan of Miles Sanders. I landed Amari Cooper. I do like Calvin Ridley. Don't get me wrong. Um, but looking at the cheat sheet, I, I do think we're going to be able to get some value at wide receiver afterwards, potentially. You know, I, I like a Marquise Brown. I think there's a good chance he drops to us, whereas I know Miles Sanders won't. And then, you know, looking at the running backs after that point. Oh, well, actually, let's let's see right now. Let's look at our cheat sheet. Uh, Miles Sanders, you know, there is James Conner. There's a guy like uh, Rashad White, Alexander Madison, Alvin Kamara. So, all right, you know what? I've kind of talked myself into it a little bit. Let's go Calvin Ridley here. Let's go for the upside. Um, and then... We'll see what's available to us at the running back position because I, I know I know that the, the top running backs are going to go here. Uh, I'm just kind of curious what is left over. So we do have Nick Chubb could be a lot worse, right? Um, we got Amari Cooper and Calvin Ridley as our top two guys. What I'm hoping to do here is take James Conner first and then probably like a Marquise Brown or a Alvin Kamara in the next round. So let's do that. Let's take James Conner first. Um, I, I think he's going to see a lot of work. It, the biggest thing with him is, right, always, can he stay healthy, uh, in my opinion? So Rashad White is also another choice. He's actually starting running back, not facing really 
any possible suspension like an Alvin Kamara. Um, so that's something to consider. Marquise Brown, the question is, does he drop to us uh, if we don't select him right now? Um, I've already got James Conner, so let's go with Alvin Kamara here. I'm going to go with the high upside guy. We're going to you know, pick up some other individuals here. We're, we're not forced to, uh, to be starting Alvin Kamara uh, if he's coming off a uh, suspension. So here I get very lucky. Marquise Brown drops to us. I realize I already have James Conner, but Marquise Brown is an amazing, amazing value at this point in time. So I'm very happy with that selection. Uh, let's see what else we're working with here. You know, running back wise, Javante Williams, uh, I'm, I'm pretty out on him. I think he's a luxury pick more than anything. So I'm going back to the wide receiver pool. I'm a big fan of Jordan Addison as a rookie. Uh, I think he has uh, some pretty nice upside here. Again, kind of looking at what is going to be available to us, looking at the draft board. Um, you know, we got a couple more picks to make. Looking at our cheat sheet, I don't mind Michael Thomas potentially taking a chance on him. I don't mind taking a chance on Elijah Moore, Alan Lazard, other guys. At this point, we can wait for the quarterback position. We really can. We can afford to do that. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to take Samaji Pirine here, though. I think that he, I've talked about it before, uh, he's a guy that's being slept on. And with the injury situation with Javante Williams, I think Samaji Pirine is going to have season long value here. I'm going to scoop up Alan Lazard, uh, another value at wide receiver, in my opinion. And then let's finally address the quarterback position. You know, this has been a draft where we've let the quarterback position uh, kind of play out and we just take one of these guys that we can still uh, probably do very well with. I'm going with Aaron Rodgers. I think he has tremendous upside and I think he's going to bounce back compared to last year. Now we've got one more selection to make. Let's see what we have left. A wide receiver, anything special? Not really, right? Um, so here, maybe I just go with a high upside quarterback. Uh, somebody like a, you know, Bryce Young, I guess. Somebody like a uh, nothing too sexy, but Kirk Cousins. Uh, I was going to say Anthony Richardson, but he's not available. Uh, tight end wise, I've already got Travis Kelsey, so I'm not really looking for another um, tight end there. So here I'm just going to go with Kirk Cousins. Not too sexy, but it'll get the job done. Uh, let's see what the draft grade we get is. I'm going to be pretty curious. Um, let's see if we got at least a B. So we get a B minus here. And look, this is what's going to happen when... Uh, when you, when you go with a Travis Kelsey in a larger league, right? So we got Nick Chubb uh, in the second round. I was pretty happy about that. Amari Cooper, Calvin Ridley. But then there's a pretty decent drop off from Nick Chubb to James Conner. Uh, kind of injury prone with James Conner. That's one of the reasons he drops. Alvin Kamara. Uh, he could be the saving grace here if he comes back uh, in his prime Alvin Kamara, not suspended for too long. And then I tried to beef up the bench, right? Marquise Brown, Jordan Addison, P. Ryan Lazard. Uh, I got Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins, uh, you know, fantasy pros, not as high on Aaron Rodgers, but I think this is a B type of draft could have been a lot, a lot worse after having gone Travis Kelsey early on. But hey, let me know your thoughts. I think overall this turned out pretty all right. I wouldn't horribly mind this draft come, you know, potentially uh, August, September. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at all day pigskin to continue interacting with us there. But in the meantime, we'll see you guys in future videos.